Hello guys, Robot One here, and today I have my YCS um, Liverpool uh, YCS Liverpool uh, review review and my ABC deck profile that I actually took to Liverpool in itself. So before I say anything, like um, we're gonna do the deck profile first, then I'm gonna go into the tournament review. Uh, I did unfortunately X free um, scoop, so I did I won free, then lost. Fr I went I went X free, um, so I won free, lost free, then dropped six, round six because I really just couldn't stat carry on because like I throughout the day I got cherries three times in game one, like not even funny. Like every time I got cherries game one, I would have won that game if it wasn't for the cherries, and I just like c really could not be asked after that. So. I re I just dropped after that and then just had fun on day two, a lot of fun on day two. Ended up entering another regional and um, I entered a sneak peek, pulled some broken stuff. Uh, I pulled really broken cards from the um, actual uh, sneak from the sneak. I pulled two secrets. I pulled um, oh damn the camera. I hit the, I hit the lens. No, uh, I pulled if I can find it a totally awesome. Tree Toad, totally awesome Tree Toad. Oh, I hate the name, I really do. Um, uh, I also pulled the uh, level nine synchro guy for the blue, which will work in Blue Eyes deck, and I also pulled Pot of Desires from my actual entry pack. So, just just the pulls alone were worth the entire trip, in my opinion. So, um, I did have a lot of fun. Uh, I did test my Tree Toad hero as soon as I got Tree Toad on the day. I had lots of fun. So, yeah. Um, let's just get right into the deck profile, then I'll give you my tournament report after, after, so. So, obviously, we have, uh, triple of each ABC, it's just, like, standard, you got, you don't really have to care about it, like, 3A, 3B, 3C, no really, n no, nothing really else to be said about that, because you play three of each no matter what. Uh, next... Three photon thrasher, uh, obvious for obvious reasons. Photon thrasher is photon thrasher. You play it, you play it in the deck up three, so you can have additional summons. Three uh, gold gadget. Um, I found that free gold gadget was actually really good for me. Um, I came, I did really well with free gold gadget, uh, in my opinion, because like every other game, every match that I had, which I didn't get cherries game one, obviously the um, other rounds. Um, I did really well purely because I had the third gold gadget, so this card at three really did help me out. Um, two silver gadget because of obviously you want um, to be able to have an additional gadget if your gold or the gadget dies. Um, also, it's just another card to special summon an ABC from hand to make additional rank four plays. Um, so essentially, you're playing uh, eight additional summoning cards. So yeah, you're you're playing eight additionals, which will always help you get into your Sukiyomi. Um, next, I played two Maxi in the main because uh, Maxi is just really good. Every time I, uh, I I didn't really see it much, but when I did see it, it really did help me out a lot. So it made my opponent give me some draws and uh, stop them. Um, I also made one Ghost Ogre because like I made this because of like pendulums. I made this because of um. So I made this because of pendulums. I made this because of ABC mirror matches. And I mained this because of any deck in general that just has face-up cards that activate it, activate. And this actually came in clutch against uh, one of my matchups, which I'll get into later. So yeah, uh, those are all the monsters I played. Um, I play for spells. I played free Union Hanger, free Terraforming. No really explanation required. Uh, you have to play three of each because you always want to get to Union Hanger. Union Hanger is the card that essentially makes this deck good. Without Union Hanger, this deck is trash. And that, I can actually quote myself on that without actually say, having any disregard to it. Uh, two Twin Twister in the main because this card literally is just busted as fucking, busted as hell in the deck. Just being able to destroy two back row really does come in clutch and it really did help me through the day. Um, two Pot of Desires, just being able to plus that t plus one with this card really does help. As long as you don't banish any of your, tr any of your, all three of your, uh, uh, three of a kind. You're literally you're literally fine as hell. Uh, so and that never happened to me through the day. So um, this card really does help work really well. Uh, one up start goblin to make a 39 card deck. 
Uh, one instant fusion because I'm playing Nordin. Um, I didn't really want to play more than one because I wanted to keep this deck to four 39 cards because of the upstart goblin. And I never really thought I would need more than one, so... Yeah, um, one instant fusion was fine for me. Um, whenever I saw it, it really did help. Uh, one reinforcements of the army just to make a four photon pressure, essentially. And one Rageki to clear boards, which really did come in handy against ABC's game two. Um, so yeah, that's the spells. And for traps we played, for our solemn engine we played two strikes and a warning. Um, I, I don't ever see myself needing more than two strikes. Like, a third would be nice, I suppose, but two strikes is always fine in my opinion. You don't really need more. It's like Pot of Desires, you don't need more than two. So yeah, you two, pot, two solemn strikes is fine. And the warning, because if you have to play warning. Um, two anti spell fragrance because it's anti spell fragrance. Um, it it holds the mirror, it holds ABC mirror match. It holds pendulums. It holds blue eyes. It holds any any deck that relies around spells. It's just a really good card in general for that fact. And one vanity's emptiness because it's the best trap card in the game until dimension barrier comes out. Um, which is which which will be out very soon. Uh, this weekend, I believe. Uh, this Thursday, actually. Um, so, yeah, that's the main deck. Um, I I feel like this deck is really good. Like, if I if I um, hadn't got Cherry's Game 1 at all, like, I would have probably came top... I would have probably made Day 2. Um, I would have probably actually got very far in the tournament, maybe even Top 32. Um, but just getting that Cherry's Game 1 really did hinder me, and I just wasn't able to play after that. So, yeah, th this deck really did come... Really, it was good, but I couldn't. I couldn't do anything after getting Cherry's game one, so I lost after that. Um, so yeah, um, for extract we played one Rhapsody and Berserk because just being able to banish cards from the graveyard can really come in handy. Um, I did this in one of my matchups against the Dark Magician guy, where the rest, where the re Ghost Ogre came in clutch as well. Um, like I just summoned this and then banished his nav navigation from the graveyard, so I was able to then activate Rageki and destroy all of his Dark Magician monsters. Um, he was he was also making really good tech to go up against the ABC matchup because he was playing stuff like um, Chaos Hunter in the main to stop you from to stop me from actually summoning ABC Dragon Buster. That actually came in clutch again for him, but I was able to get around it luckily. Um, but nonetheless. Like, the guy actually, was, the Dark Magician guy was actually a relevant person. Um, he beat me game one because I kind of misplayed uh, twice. Because I was kind of tired and after getting cherries twice in the day, I really just got really kind of down, I suppose. I, got, I, was, I was really tired. Um, but yeah, one Rhapsody. Just to banish cards from the graveyard. Like, in the mirrors and anything that's relevant in the grave. One Abyss Dweller because of Burning Abyss, helps in ABC mirrors, all of that's good stuff. Uh, one Digusto Emerald because just being able to recycle your ABC Dragon Busters can really help out, and just being able to have that f maybe fourth or fifth ABC Dragon Buster is really really clutch. Plus, you can shuffle back your uh, hand traps like Ghost Dog. Uh, one Sukiyomi, literally one of the best cards in the deck. You have to play this card if you're not if you have to play this card in the deck. It gets you first turn ABC Dragon Buster. It's like the standard play is you're gonna summon this and then discard your hand, make out ABC Dragon Buster. So, yep. Pretty uh, basic. Uh, one Diamond Direwolf. Um, I didn't see myself needing more than the two Diamond Direwolves. I never needed to summon more than one, and I rarely summoned the two during the tournament. So, yeah, um, I rarely summoned one during the tournament actually. So I really didn't need this card more than once in the actual event. Uh, so yeah, one Diamond Direwolf. One Castell, pretty standard. Um, one giant hand. Uh, I played one giant hand for those awkward hands when you're going first and you don't have Union Hanger. So, um, or a way to make ABC Dragon Buster, so you could just be like, summon Giant Hand in defense, and then you ha any monster effect is negated instantly, because I can just negate it with Giant Hand, so. This, this, I think this came up once in the day, I can't remember when, but, uh, it does, it does come in clutch. One Gigian X, one of the best card Xyz monsters in the extra deck, you have to play it if you, you have to play this card regardless at one, you have to play it at least one, so, yeah. Uh, one Dark Rebellion Xyz Dragon, um, didn't actually summon this card, I think. Like I put this in as a beat stick, just be able to have a addition, just be able to have a monster that I could get to like I don't know maximum uh, 4k I guess if I was up against the blue eyes player. Um, it came in clutch against stuff like ABC, just being able to take a heart, just being able to force the tag out, um, really does help. So this card really did go well. Um, the Utopia package, so one U Utopia and one Lightning. 
um, really did come in handy. I actually was able to win most of my game 2s against ABCs thanks to this. Without it, I would not have been able to do it, and yeah. So, yeah. Uh, then, one Elder Entity Norden because we play the one Instant Fusion. And triple ABC Dragon Buster because you have to play the card. So yeah, that's the um, extra deck. Pretty, it, 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 like pr some pretty standard cards in here. Like I don't really have to say much about them, but yeah, that's the extra deck. Uh, for the side deck, um, I played one LR of Justice Cycle Reader. Like I, I sided one because like it's searchable from Giga Next, so you really don't need more than one. Um, two Ghost Reapers. Uh, I, I sided two Ghost Reapers purely because I don't have a third. I would have probably made I would have probably sided three, but obviously I don't have the third, so and I borrowed these from my mate from my mate Rob Phillips. Thank you, Rob Phillips, for allowing me to borrow these. They really did help me in time, so yeah. Uh but yeah, side two because it's like the best out to ABCs. Um two Gamma Seal. Uh basically another reason is because of ABCs, like being able to just tribute over an ABC Dragon Buster really does stop hinder them and can make them lose the game after that. One Cosmic Cyclone. Um, this card didn't really come in at all. Like, I didn't do any Metal Foes players or Pendulum players other than a Dynamist guy, um, which it was ra which was in round three, which was really surprising. But like, it, it I I think it came in against that game, but that was it. But yeah, one Cosmic Cyclone. Uh, this is mainly for any pendulum matchups and any pendulum, any metal foes pendulum, um, uh, anything that just has tons of back row. Like even uh, PK fire, I would side this in against. Uh, the third twin twister because I want to have a third in the in there just in case. Two system down for ABCs. One scramble union just in case my stuff gets banished, then I can flip this up and then recycle all of my ABCs. Um, one anti spell fragrance for that additional pendulum hate matchup. Uh, two trap stuns for any barrier statue slash any trap relevant decks. And two chaos trap holes for anything that is just like blue eyes or re related or any light slash dark decks related like BA. So that's the um, actual deck profile. Uh, the actual um, tournament, the actual review of the event, like. It was a decent event. I feel like rounds took too, a bit too long, to be honest. Um, I feel like they could have gone a lot faster in the whole event, but nonetheless, it was a decent event. Um, my matchups were essentially round one was ABCs got cherries game one again two lost the lost got two owed uh, round two went up against a destiny hero zombie to Zoken guy um, uh, I two owed him. Uh, then round three, Dynamis, um, I 2 0 him as well. Uh, round three, ABCs, wait, no, round four, ABCs got cherries game one and game two again, but was able to push it to game three, but it undoubtedly bricked, sadly, which was, I didn't draw a Union Hangout or any way to make ABC Dragon Buster. Um, game round six, round five, Dark Magicians actually. He won game one because of I misplayed like twice. I didn't flip a vanities when I should have, and I didn't decontact when I should have. But nonetheless, it still did. It was still um, a decent matchup. Uh, I won game two and game three pretty easy because I was actually concentrating then. Um, game round five, round six, got cherries game one and game two again. Was able to push it into game three, but sadly I did brick again, and I was just unable to play after that. So yeah, guys. All in all, in all, I had a lot of fun. Like, day two, I just I entered um, the sneak peek, uh, pulled Treat Toad, and obviously another secret, the level nine sting crow. Um, I didn't really care about that, so I was just like I summoned Vermilion twice in the sneak peek. I didn't care that I didn't actually win the sneak peek because I was just going in for it for fun. Then I entered a regional, um, didn't really do too well because I bricked game one. Um, then was just unable to play, uh, because I opened, I, I changed my build to maining, a, maining Reapers, because I really didn't want to deal with my opponent Reapering me first, so I just wanted to stick it to them, because that I, it happened to me so much the day before. Um, and it came in handy, but it, like, I didn't get enough advantage to actually make it vi viable, so, yeah, it was, it was a good, it was an okay idea, but it didn't work. It, it, well, it worked, but it didn't do. I didn't get all the cards necessary to actually play. 
Um, and then game two, it was like, oh, we keep going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Um, whoever got the right cards first won that. And, like, I, I put up desires and lost two Bs, so I was pretty much screwed after that. But nonetheless, I got a lot of testing in. I got Pot of Desires, Treat Toad, and another secret from the Sneak Peek. And I generally had a lot of fun. I saw a lot of people that I hadn't seen in a while, talked to new people, made some new mates, and just in general had a lot of fun. So, yeah, guys, this is the video. Tell me what you think of it. Did you go to Liverpool? Did you enjoy Liverpool? And did you play this trash ABCs that will be basically not be even relevant next week? And, yeah, guys... Please remember, as always, to like, comment, and subscribe for more new videos. And, as always, I would have won all my matches if, I, if it wasn't for cherries. Thanks for watching, guys.